Hi everyone, it's Joy here for Tailored Expressions and I am super excited to share my projects with you using the Anything Popsicle stencil and stamp combo along with the On The Block Cool stamp and die. So here is that Anything Popsicle combo. You've got the stamp set, you've got the dies here, and then you have a bunch of stencils. There's actually four of these little stencils. I just didn't have it in my hand. But you've got the popsicles, you've got the one that has the bite out of it, the decoration on top, and you have a popsicle stick. Here is the smaller stencil with the same things, the different the sticks, the different shapes of popsicles, and like the chocolate covering. Here is the on the block cool stamp and die, the building blocks cool additions, the frame in frame two cutting plate, the 3D foam squares, the foam sticky strips and circles. The ink that I'm using is lollipop, sprinkles, mint julep, candy corn, toffee, lemon meringue, and chocolate truffle, Oreo, and Versamark, white embossing powder, my glue, my powder tool, my uh, acrylic block, and blender brushes. I'm also using some acetate and some colored cardstock. So here I'm starting with a piece of sugar cube cardstock, and here is that smaller popsicle stencil. And so I am starting with lollipop ink, and I'm just using my blender brush, and I am just going to ink up a ton of these lollipops. I'm doing a lot of colors. I really wanted to give the feel of summer. Here is that cute popsicle with a bite out of it. I just think this is super darling. And I'm gonna come in and ink that up, and I'm gonna use sprinkles. I'm also using lollipop cardstock, sprinkles part cardstock, and lemon meringue cardstock for these projects. So I'm going to ink this up. I'm also going to show you how to do the cute little popsicle stick, how to add the chocolate topping on this top pink popsicle, and I'm going to do a ton more colors. I'm just going to go through it quickly. So here I'm coming in with the chocolate truffle, and I'm just inking up really heavily because I really want it to look like chocolate on top of this cute pink popsicle. And doesn't that look so cute and so delicious? Here is the stencil that has the little popsicle sticks. And I'm actually going to be using toffee for the popsicle sticks. And all of these have little register marks that line up with the popsicle so you know exactly where to line up all of your stencils. So now I'm coming in with mint julep and I'm doing a solid popsicle on this. And isn't that so pretty? I love this color. I think it's a perfect summer popsicle color. For this next set of popsicles, I wanted an orange. So I'm gonna be using candy corn. I'm also gonna be doing a lemon meringue as well. I really, like I said before, wanted this to feel very summer-like and really have a ton of fun, fun colors. I also needed to do a fudge pop because I grew up eating fudge pops. So again, I'm using that chocolate truffle with the cute stencil that has the bite taken out of it. So now that all of the stenciling is done, I'm coming in with that little coordinating stamp and I'm just stamping up using the same color. So here is the lemon meringue stenciling and I'm now stamping the lemon meringue ink with those cute little lines that you always find on your popsicle. So I'm gonna do that for all of my popsicles. Isn't that darling? And then I'm gonna use the coordinating die. And I love that you get so many popsicles out of this stencil and this die. And I have a ton of popsicles. I only planned on making two cards, but I actually end up making a bonus shaker card because I had so many popsicles left. So I'm gonna die cut all of those and then we can start putting together the card. So I have laid out all of those cute little popsicles. I'm doing a mini slim card. This is trimmed down quite a bit smaller. This is probably about three inches by six inches. So I have it laid out and I'm just gonna take a piece of low tech tape and tape that down in place because I'm just gonna flip this over and add some foam sticky circles behind it. Actually, I think I'm using the foam squares behind it. Yes, the foam squares. So this whole thing is gonna have dimension and now I don't have to do it one at a time. It just, I can, I can lay it down all the way together. So I'm gonna peel back that release tape, line it up at the bottom of my piece of sugar cube cardstock, and then just trim off the excess, pull that tape back gently, and then just trim the excess off of the sides. Now I'm gonna place this in my Misty and I'm gonna use the sentiment from that little stamp set that comes in the Anything Popsicle. And this says, Hello Summer. And I'm just gonna stamp that up with some Oreo ink. I'm just making sure using the lines on the front of my Misty, the grid, to make sure that my sentiment is lined up straight. 
Now that it is, I'm just gonna stamp that up a couple times. And I like that pop of black with all of this fun color. I did mat that on a piece of lollipop cardstock and then a I used a Sprinkles Mini Slim card base, which measures six and a half by three and a half. I am coming in with my white gel pen and adding some highlights to these popsicles. And then that card is complete. So this next card is using the larger popsicle dies that come in the anything popsicle coordinating stencil and stamp combo. And I'm keeping the colors super simple. So I'm using lollipop, sprinkles, lemon meringue. I'm going to be using the candy corn and the mint julep. I really did not use the chocolate truffle. I wanted this to be super bright and summery and fun. So I'm just going through and doing all of my stenciling, cleaning my stencil in between just really quickly and getting all of my popsicles down. And then I'm gonna come in and use the same toffee ink for the little popsicle sticks. And as you can see here, this is how this little stencil just lines right up. Again, there's little registration marks that line up with your popsicle. It makes this super easy to stencil these all really, really quickly. Now I'm gonna use the same stamp set and stamp those cute little lines in my popsicles with each of the colors. And so all of these popsicles are gonna have that, which I think just adds a ton of cute detail and brings these popsicles to life and almost gives it that 3D effect. I will be using the coordinating dies. This larger die has that cute bite cut out, which I think is really super cute. So after I die cut all of these images, we're going to add some sprinkles from that stamp set. So I'm using some Versamark ink and just adding sprinkles to the three complete popsicles, not the ones with the bites out of it. I'm gonna sprinkle on some white embossing powder and then just heat that through until it's nice and melted and that's gonna add some extra fun little detail. Now this is a slimline card and I've cut my base from Sugar Cube cardstock. And as you can see, I have laid out my design. Now I'm coming in with the die cuts and I'm going to die cut out the popsicle holes, if you will, from this card panel because we will be inlaying all of these popsicles into our design. As you can see the bottom there, I have two popsicles overlapping each other and that's how we also are going to die cut. So I'm gonna die cut that first one that has the bite taken out of it. And then I'm gonna die cut that last one. I'm just gonna lay that over the top and once everything is cut out and we inlay all of the popsicles, the whole design is gonna to come together and be super cute. So now first I'm going to stamp my sentiment. This is the On The Block Cool stamp set. And I'm using three colors. I am using lollipop, sprinkles, mint julep, and lemon meringue. And as you can see there, I'm just adding a little bit of color to just sections of the stamp set. And I inked it up one time. I'm going to ink it up a second time and that's gonna give a nice, good, cohesive transition between all of the colors. I'm gonna use the coordinating die to cut that out. I'm gonna tape that in place and just run that through my die cut machine. So now I've got the foam sticky circles behind our die cut panel. I have a lemon meringue slimline card base that measures eight and a half by three and a half. And I have, I have that adhered down. And now we're just going to inlay all of these popsicles. And this turned out so super cute. So it's like this reverse dimension, if that makes sense. But as you can see the bottom there, how they overlap each other and it works out just fine. So I'm just using a little bit of tape runner to adhere that down. You could use liquid glue, that would work perfectly as well. Now this is the Building Blocks Cool Additions stamp set. And so I'm gonna stamp that up. It has a ton of sentiments and this card is gonna say, you're super cool. So I'm gonna ink that up with Oreo ink and then just trim these out. This does have a coordinating die. I did not have it on me on hand. So I just use my paper trimmer to trim it out. I'm going to adhere that down. And then we're going to add some foam tape, some foam squares behind the word cool and just adhere that to the front of this card. And this one is done. So now onto this bonus card, I am using the frame and frame two cutting plate. And I actually die cut that from mint julep, but I do end up changing it. I, it am adhering down a piece of acetate and trimming off the excess because we are going to make a shaker card with all of those leftover popsicles that we stenciled at the beginning of this. I have foam sticky strips on the back of that frame. I have a piece of sugar cube cardstock trimmed down to that same size. I'm gonna add those popsicles inside, take off my release paper from that frame and adhere it down. And we're gonna have a really awesome shaker card with all of these fun popsicles inside. 
I am using the same on the block cool die and I did that in sprinkles ink and I did die cut a sprinkles cardstock frame as you can see that looks different here I changed that out and just adhered that down and the sentiments here says have a birthday so it's have a cool birthday and I'm just going to adhere that all to the front of that acetate card and look at how cute with this little popsicles inside and the beautiful lollipop card base and then we've got our mini slim card here that we did at the beginning and our slim line card I want to thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this project. You can find all of these products at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com.